Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's a beautiful sunny day today and I'm out with the Bugs 3 Pro. Now, the Bugs 3 Pro, for many of you that don't know, came out, I think it came out in 2018. Uh, it's a GPS drone. It's rather large. Here, let me hold it up to my head. It's rather large for Bugs drones and the reason it's large is because it carries a camera on the bottom. So this camera hangs here. It's You have to manually adjust it which way you want it to point before you fly. But uh, it records at 1080p. It's got pretty decent video, very wide angle lens on here, and it's very much forward. See how forward it is? So you're not gonna get the legs in the image at all. Now, the reason I have this Bugs 3 drone, and the reason you know I've reviewed this last year in 2018, in the summer of 2018, is uh, the reason I have it now is because GearBest sent me this with three batteries. They said, hey, you can get this drone here with three batteries at a really good deal. Now, when they sent it to me with the really good deal, that was a while ago. I don't know if the really good deal's on, so you'll have to check the links below and see if it's a really good deal, if it's something for you. This is definitely one of the drones in my list of drones that I recommend for beginners because it is a GPS drone. It is massively reliable, and it almost has a little bit of something like if you're more than a beginner, you might like it because it's extremely heavy. This thing weighs a lot for a GPS drone when I put the battery in because it's got a big battery in here. It gets about uh, 20 minutes of flight time you know, which means that on a normal average day, you get about 16 or 17 minutes. But these motors are pretty powerful. It can lift an awful lot. It's one of those drones. So in this video, what you're going to see is I'm going to show you really quickly because I've reviewed this drone before. I'm going to show you all the features super, super quick. It's got the basic GPS features. And at the end of reviewing all those features, I'm going to take this camera off and I'm going to put a GoPro Hero 7 on it because a lot of people say, can I fly this with a GoPro? And I'll say, yeah, I'm going to show you here. I'm going to put a GoPro on it and I'll show you. you get 4K footage and... Uh, it's not bad. You can put any camera on this that, you know, as long as it can lift it, it can lift it a lot. So uh, anyways, check out my video. Landing pads down here, pluck the battery in. There we go, stick the drone over here. Wait for the second beep. There we go, we're good. Now this has to make a beep with that. Listen for the beep. There we go, now we're all set to do the GPS calibration and the GPS calibration is pretty simple. It's one of these. One, two, three. And then point it up or point it down. And all my lights on the bottom should be solid colors. I can't see anything with the lights. Next thing we do is we're going to calibrate the gyro. So we just pull these to the down and to the left. And the gyro is calibrated. Next, we'll attach our cell phone so we can see what's going on. Start the Bugs Go app. And let's find the right drone. This is the camera. What is this? This is a Bugs 3 Pro. So it would be one of these C500, C600. That's it. That's what it looks like. And uh, hit next. Next. How many satellites? It says I have 12 satellites already and I should see 12 on here. I'm going to turn the GPS on. There's GPS mode is on. So you can turn it on or off. I'm going to put it on. Over here is your headless mode. That's beginners. If you see the little snowflake beginners, turn that off. I don't want beginners mode. And uh, all I have to do next to turn the camera on is hit this button. Two beeps, camera's on. Next, what we have to do is uh, hit this little button to start the motors. Here, I'll come over here and start the motors with this button. Come on. There we go. And uh, let's take it up. And it should be super stable because it is a GPS drone and it is one of the awesome ones. Turn it around. There we go. By the snow banks. How do I look? I'm flying it around here. Take it up. Can I see me in there? Yes, I can. All right. So what we're gonna do now is, uh, let me do the quick little show you this thing for follow me. So let me put it back over here. All right, you see me in the video. I'm gonna hit the little follow me which is on the lower left-hand corner. You can see it looks like something flying over a humanoid. See how stable it is up there? It's a really awesome drone. Okay, follow me. It says a bunch of stuff on the screen, which I can't read. I sit yes, and now it's gonna look for my phone. It's looking, 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 and it's found me. And now if I walk backwards, Mr. Drone will come and follow me. Now, as it follows me, I can control the up. There we go. And I can control the down. I can have it follow me down, 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 down. Come away down. Now, I don't know how low I can go. There's some water down here. <laughs> Puddle of water. Well, it's following me over that. And if I go backwards, what's it going to do? Backwards. There we go. It's flying backwards. Come on. Backwards, backwards. There we go. Goes backwards. And take it back up. And there we go. It's very powerful. So watch this. If I uh, take it up in the air, look at all. How much height I can get in no time at all. 
Got it up there. Next, what I'm gonna do is look around, make sure I'm not hitting trees. I'm gonna go orbit mode now. So on the left of my screen, the one above the follow me is orbit. I'll click that, hit the yes. It should go ready to orbit mode and there she goes. See so if I try to stay in the picture, stay in the picture, stay in the picture. My camera's not at the right angle. <laughs> so it's not gonna be, oh no, I'm running around in circles here as it's orbiting me. <laughs> this is funny. All right, so I'm trying to stay in the middle here, but my camera's not at the right angle. Let me just see here. Now it does have a waypoint mode. So there's my map. You can see a picture of uh, a dot and then you see a little drone to the side of it. I'm gonna go over to waypoint mode. There's my drone, so I'm gonna draw them over here. See a dig zigzags? There we go. <laughs> Worst waypoint mode ever. Let's see what that does. Okay, I'll look it up. I'm gonna hit submit. Oh, it says yes. Hopefully I didn't put it at trees. So it's gotta fly to waypoint number one. Wherever I put waypoint number one. There we go. I think I'm zoomed into my map too much. Hang on a sec. There we go. You can see on my screen I'm zooming out. Oh, I better hit stop because that's going for a tree. So I locked in, I didn't hit any trees, it did well. I think that's all the features on here. The only one I haven't shown you is return to home. So uh, let's take it up. I'll take it away up. Let's see, what's it say on my little thing here? It says here, you can see in the sun. See my height over there, H, 36, 40. Those are the meters, 44, 48. There's a return to home button, the big H. So uh, let's hit that and see what happens. So it should be flying back to me. As long as you see this little H over here, you're good. God, is that ever high? <laughs> this is gonna take a while to come down. Go have some popcorn, I will cut to when it gets to the ground. All right, let's see how close that gets to the landing pad. It's coming down, I'm not doing anything. There we go. Big snow banks here. What's it gonna do? Where's it gonna land? It's coming down, let's get nice and close to it. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Well, kind of close to the landing pad, but uh, that's pretty good for return home. All right, next thing we're gonna do is put a GoPro on this here Bugs 3 Pro. But before I do that, let me show you a super fast unboxing. I just wanna show you what you get in the box with the three batteries. So watch this really quick and then come back to me and we'll be flying this with a GoPro. All right, a super fast unboxing of the Bugs 3 Pro with GPS. I'm not gonna go detailed unboxing because I have reviewed this drone before and it is a really good drone. Here, let's take a look at the inside of the box. Just like with any Bugs drone, you get the quick start guide, which is very important. Take off the styrofoam cover and what do you have? You have the drone. Now, the most important thing about this drone that I wanna show you is, as I yank it out here, is that uh, my drone came with a battery here and you can see it over here, two more batteries. So this is a three battery kit. This is a very high quality GPS drone, very reliable, amazing for flying outside. Comes with everything you need in a kit, which I'm not gonna go in detail because I've reviewed this before. And you also get the controller, which is a really good controller with a nice little display down here to tell you about GPS and headless mode and all the other good features. And what makes the drone so great is it has brushless motors. You can fly it without the landing legs or you can put the landing legs on and put a camera down here, which is included a 1080p camera with the drone so you can get some good quality video and photos or attach a camera of your preference to the bottom. It doesn't matter. It's quite a large drone and has a lot of power for takeoff and flight. Now we'll say for a drone that is as powerful as this one is with these batteries and long flight time it is pretty heavy watch this if I put it down batteries in it 471 grams let's add the props let's add what's well, props there that's the cradle for the bottom the gimbal for the camera well here's the camera here let's just toss that on back here here's the landing legs you can put those on too I'm adding everything there and I think that's it what are we at I don't know if you can see it down there that says 600 oh it's falling down it's showing me 604 grams. Really good drone. Now uh, let's get back to flying. All right, so here we go. First thing you have to do is take off the existing camera. You're gonna put a GoPro on. So I'm just gonna slide this out, it slides out nice. There you go, it's all off. And you have the naked body right there. I got no battery and nothing. Now I'm gonna put the GoPro on. Now you could put a GoPro in this holder. I should mention this, but the holder's at the front and the GoPros are pretty heavy. This weighs about maybe, ooh, maybe about 40 grams. The GoPro weighs about 120 grams. And then with the holder, it's about 130 grams. It's a lot of weight for the front. It can fly, but you might get some vibration. So what I do is I take it off and I put the GoPro right in the center. So my GoPro is right here. I've just got it on a holder and it just sits like that. Now to secure my GoPro, you could secure it any way you want. I'm just gonna use these are for FPV drones to hook on batteries or anything to a drone. They're just like a sort of like a, a Velcro. Everything sticks to itself nice. And uh, that's what's gonna hold on my GoPro watch. And there we go, my GoPro's on, it looks like that. Now, 
One thing I should mention is that's how my GoPro goes. I've just got it, so I'm going to flip the video when I view it, or you can put the GoPro in upside down. But uh, one thing I should mention is take a look. See these legs in the front? Well, my GoPro is right here, and you know GoPros have wide views. I'm going to leave it on wide view, so you're going to see the legs in the in the view. If you don't want the legs in your view, just set your GoPro to a more narrow view. And I'm going to use some elastics just for extra support on hanging the GoPro on, holding it in place. I did that very caveman style. I've got elastics everywhere. All the elastics are for, say, the GoPro, because I don't have it stuck on with any sticky stuff. Say somehow it rattles loose or whatever. All the elastics are going to do is hold it so that if it falls off, it just the whole holder just stays there. That's all it is. It's like attaching a little secure line. But that is pretty much it. And it's pretty darn heavy, but this thing is so powerful, it should lift it no problem. So let's get it going, put a battery in, going, turn my GoPro on. So there we go, we're all set to go. See on my controller, I don't have my phone. That's because I would have to put like a GoPro app that sends the signal from the GoPro to here. I can't use all the functions that come with this here drone when I fly with the GoPro. And that, you know, it makes sense obviously because the camera on there is sending the signal and it's connected to work with this whole app and this whole interface. If you put a GoPro on, it's not designed to work for that. So you just fly around and point at what you want and you'll get everything in, in the video. So let's go. Hit that, motor start. It's pretty darn heavy. Is it gonna fly? Look at that. Take it back. And uh, there you should see me in the image. So how does that look? Here, let me just fire it up and take it back. So that's what you get when you fly the, the GoPro on here. Oh, it's telling me my battery's low. You know, I got three batteries with this and I only brought one battery out. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? All right. So there you go. That's a 4K video useless. Yes, it's, it wants to come back. It says low, low, low power. So it's, it's coming down. All right. I think return to home would still work. Let me just try this on low power. There we go. Hit return to home. Let's see. It's going to go up and it's got to go over to the landing pad. And it should come down there. There we go. Here's the Bugs 3 coming down with a GoPro attached. Looking in the sun here, let me spin it a bit. So that's it. You can put a little GoPro on if you want. And that's me in 4K. You can probably see the legs in there, but uh, that's what you get. And if here, I'm gonna, I'll edit the video right now and I'll put it on like uh, a much more minimalist view. And there, the legs are gone and I'm still in 4K. Here I am going really close to the snow banks. Whoa, check that out. That should look pretty cool. Flying over the snow banks. There we go. All right, let me go bring this down and that's pretty much it. Put it down over here. All right, folks, what did you think? GoPro on the little Bugs 3 Pro. Yeah, and if you have a different camera, a Sony camera or something else, or whatever you have action camera, you can hang them off the Bugs 3 Pro. Just remember, whatever amount of weight you add to this, it can lift it, but it's not gonna fly the same. Like you literally fly it and you feel the weight, but it does work. It works fine because of GPS and it works fine and it's a big drone and it does all the stuff. And you will get less flight time the more you hang off it. But use the camera that came with it. You saw what the video quality looked like. That was 1080p that came with it and uh, that's 4K and you can uh, make up your mind. Anyways, check the links below. See if there's a great sale for this year Bugs 3 with three batteries. Hope you enjoyed this drone video and much more to come. Give it a thumbs up if you did and take care. Catch you in the next video.